Wow, let's go in here. Ooh, look at all this snow. It's really tough to survive out here. But some animals like caribou and arctic foxes have special ways of finding food hidden underneath the snow and ice. Caribou look like large deer and they have to dig through the snow to find the nutritious grass and lichen they need to survive. Swipe the screen to help the caribou dig for food. Amazing! By removing the snow, the caribou can now get to their food. Thanks to the caribou removing the snow, arctic foxes can also get their food. Click or tap on the rodents before they disappear. Great job! That's it! Just a few more. Incredible! Would you look at that? That's it! Just a few more. Wow, wasn't that amazing? But we'd better get back to the control tower. Mr. Hammond and Jem will be wondering where we got to. Desert! Crocodiles are carnivores, and most animals stay away from those strong jaws and sharp teeth. But not the Egyptian plover. These tiny birds clean the crocodile's teeth, and in return, the crocs don't eat them. Let's see if we can find a crocodile whose mouth is open. There's a crocodile with its mouth open. Whoa, look at those teeth. They're huge. The plover will first inspect the teeth, just like a dentist. Then they pick out the old bits of food from around the crocodile's teeth. There's a piece. Nice. The there's a piece. Nice. The pl There's a piece. Nice. We probably shouldn't get too close. It looks like the croc is getting hungry again. Let's head back to the control tower. Savannah. We're in the savannah, home to some amazing creatures that work together. Oxpeckers are small birds that are often seen perching on the backs of mammals like rhinos. Oxpeckers will try to eat the ticks on the rhino's back. Let's see how many ticks we can get. Oh, got one. Well, that's one less tick. Ha <laughs> ha, they're not. Well, that's one less tick. Ha <laughs> ha, they're not getting away. Oh, got one. Good job. Well, that's one less. Ha <laughs> ha. Good job. Did you see that? Those ox peckers really are incredible. But they have one more amazing trick up their sleeve. Uh oh. Watch out. Some lions are nearby. Let's see how the ox peckers deal with them. Help the ox peckers to alert the rhinos. Click or tap on the predators. Well done. That's it. Well done. 
Welcome to the jungle, home to sloths and moths. These two animals help each other out. Sloths give moths a place to live, and moths help sloths to grow green algae on their fur. Look, that's one moth on its... Look, look, that's one moth on its way. Good job. Awesome! It looks like these moths have a new home. A sloth's fur is the perfect home for a moth. In return for a home in the sloth's fur, the moth helps the sloth grow green algae. This helps the sloths to hide. Keep going. That's it. The sloth's fur is beginning. Keep going. That's it. The sloth's fur is beginning to turn green. Wasn't that incredible? The moths get a home and food, and the sloths get an amazing disguise. 